Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am back again today with another Feature Friday video for this month's Concord 9th release, and I'm going to be using the Big Thanks stamp and die set, as well as the Fine Line Floral stamp set. I already went ahead and set up my Misty with the largest image in the Fine Line Floral stamp set because I'm going to be using this as a background to my card. So I've already went ahead and stamped it on a piece of masking paper and I fussy cut that out as close to the line as possible so that I can mask it off and stamp over that image again in just a minute. I am stamping this now on a piece of four by five and a quarter white cardstock and I'm inking my stamp up with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I used Memento because I wasn't sure if I wanted to Copic color the florals or not. I end up skipping that and adding color in another way, uh, but I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do and I wanted the option. So I used Memento because it is a Copic safe ink, meaning that the alcohol in the uh, Copic markers won't make the ink run or really any alcohol based marker that you have won't make this ink run. So I've gone ahead and stamped that on the top left corner of my cardstock and you see that it comes down pretty far there into the center. So I'm now going to use that masking paper that I've stamped and fussy cut before and peel it off carefully so that I can put it on exactly uh, where I stamped the image. So I'm going to flip it over now and this is one of the best things about the Misty is that I don't have to take my stamp off. So I'm just inking this up again and stamping right over that masked image. Now I don't have to worry because after I peel this masking off, you won't see any of those crossover lines. I do have to stamp this image or this one twice because the masking is a little bit thicker than the rest of the cardstock. Uh, so when I go ahead and press the stamp down, sometimes I don't get a perfect impression the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and start making the actual card now using the featured product today, which is the Thanks stamp and die set. So I'm using the Big Thanks die and I'm just going to go ahead and die cut that out right of the center of this background that I made. Now I use a Gemini Junior and so I have to actually put that in upside down, but that magnetic shim there makes sure that my die stays in place. Once I go ahead and put that through, you'll see when I take this off, I get a really beautiful cut. It comes right out. I don't have to do any fussing with it. And all of the little pieces can go back into the letters to make them look fuller when you put them on the cardstock. And I just wanted to show you how I did that there. So I'm now going to go ahead and use the stamp set to fill in these letters. And this is where I'm going to add my color to this card. I'm using a repositionable adhesive on the back of the die cut card front and I'm going to adhere it to a, an A2 size piece of cardstock that will act as the base for my card front. I'm going to make sure that I get this as centered as possible and where I think that I would like it and this is where I'm going to or this basically acts as a sort of stencil and a guide for me to add in the letters that come in the stamp set. The letters in the stamp set are separate. They don't come in the same orientation as the dies so that you have the option of using them with the dies or not. And I think that that's really great. So I'm going to go ahead here and just move these so that they fit like a puzzle. I'm not going to do letters A and S right now because they will uh, sort of overlap the other stamps when positioned this way. So I'm going to stamp these letters first and then I'll go back in and do the A and the S after. I'm using Tiki Torch, which is a nice, fun, bright orange color by Katherine Pooler. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that or close my misty door and stamp that right there. And you'll see that worked out perfectly. Now it's exactly where I need it. So now I'm going to go back in, like I said before, I've already aligned A and S off camera. And now I'm just going to ink that up again with Tiki Torch and close the door to my Misty so that I get all of the letters nice and stamped. And I really love the way that the orange plays against the black and white. These are really thin letters, so I do go ahead later and add orange in another way, and you'll see that, that at the end of the video. So I'm gonna go ahead now and just take all of that removable or repositionable adhesive off, and it just slides right off when you wipe it or rub it. And then I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Multi Glue and just get in all of these spaces, but now I know exactly where I need it to fit on my card front because I've already stamped the 
uh, letters onto my card front. So I'm then going to go ahead and take those little pieces again with glue and add them in so that it looks completed and like there's not too much white space there in between the letters. And here you can see my completed cards. I used the negative of that big thanks die from my background stamp and added it to a black piece of cardstock cut to four by five and a quarter. And then I used the so much stamp from the stamp set and embossed that on the bottom right hand side in white embossing powder and adhered it all to a white A2 size card base. And I love the simplicity and design of that card. But here you can can see the main card that I was showing today and how I added a little bit more orange. So I took that Tiki Torch uh, ink by Catherine Pooler and just went right from pad to paper and ink smushed right on a little piece of white cardstock. I then used the sentiment for all you do from the Big Thanks stamp set and stamped that on there, cut it down to a very thin sentiment strip and adhered that with foam tape right there to the center left hand side of my big thanks die. I added a few gems and called it a day. I hope that you enjoyed the inspiration video today for the feature Friday from the new release for Concord 9th. Please go into the description for all of the links to the products used today, as well as the link to my blog where there's some more information. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you again soon. Thanks.